Hello, hope you all are doing well. Coming to you today from my home office, also known as my couch. So, um, first things first, you have noticed that you do not all have your article comparison essays back yet. I am working on it diligently. Um, as a result of my grading backlog, pay attention, this is important, I am extending the deadline for the annotated bibliography until after Easter. If you have already submitted it, you are awesome and I'm excited to have it and I will grade it and get it back to you as speedily as I can. I am offering a five point bonus to the people who submitted it by the original deadline or who still submit it by the original deadline. So know that there is an incentive uh, for those of you who have been working really hard and sort of a get out of free jail card uh, if you have not been working on it that uh, that diligently. I understand it's it is a very busy time. Um, we are approaching the break. I know that folks have a lot going on. I get it. I'm with you. Um, that said, I am working to get your essays back as quickly as I can. And my goal is to have all submitted work returned before I leave the office next Wednesday. So uh, keep your eyes on your inboxes for that. So we're working on the argument of research paper. I've had a few questions, a few emails, and I thank you all for the questions and the emails. Uh, and that's also helped me shape a little bit of what I'm going to talk to you about today. So um, for starters, with this argument of research paper, uh, you will have noted from the assignment that you it's very good for you to take a problem solution approach to this. I do this for a few reasons. One of the one of them being that it's better to focus this essay tightly rather than to try to take on the world in four or five pages. Uh, when you pick out a topic, you need to pick out something uh, within that topic to discuss. You can't take on the huge subject area. So to give you an example, uh, let's say that I'm writing a research paper right along with you, and I'm trying to think of a topic, so I choose education. Education is enormous. I can't write everything about education in the rest of my life. Like, there's just too much. So I think about it and I think, what area of education am I interested in? I narrow it down to community college education. And then I say, well, I've got to find something within this area to make an argument about. And to make that argument, I'm going to need to do research. And to do that research, I'm going to need a question uh, similar to you know what you do in science, right? There's a hypothesis. I need to pose a research question. So I think about problems in community college education and being an English teacher, I narrow it down to English. And then I narrow it down to first year compositions. That's starting to get me into an area that I can reasonably take on in an essay. So I think about areas in English in community college education that are problematic. And I think, you know what, MLA gives students problems. Um, some students want to write an APA. So you know, a lot of disciplines require APA. So my research question becomes, should we teach APA and MLA in English 111? Okay, so I go out and I do some research. Now remember, when we're doing our research for this essay, you need to use good scholarly sources. In your scavenger hunt, I wanted you to get a feel of what's out there on your topic. Uh, I think of the scavenger hunt as kind of a first date with your topic. You're not settling down. You're not committing to a relationship. You're just seeing if this thing's going to work out. So once you have a little better idea about your topic you've chosen, then you can start to get into some of the scholarly research. So. When you're looking in those databases, remember the things you've learned in your library activities. You can't just type a question into the databases the way that we do with Google. Google has spoiled us. It's lovely. But when we get to the databases, we need to use good search terms. And we, if you're not finding things, you need to vary those terms. I also want to remind you, we have uh, uh, Samantha O'Connor working with us in our course. She's an excellent librarian and happy to help you uh, when you need help finding sources if you get stuck. And any of the librarians at our campuses will help. And we also have um, a librarian chat feature on the library website. So please use these resources. Uh, and if you're having trouble finding things, let me know. Um, I've done a lot of research. I can help you. So once you uh, do that, remember that you have to look at all sides of the issue. Don't just look at sources that you agree with. You have to look at the folks you disagree with. Remember that the goal of this essay is to persuade someone. And in order to persuade someone, you have to understand how they think. You have to understand the reasons behind why they believe the things they do and why they feel the way they do. If you do that, then you'll be able to uh, make some headway there. 
So, uh, annotated bibliography is the works cited entries for your sources, alphabetized with a brief description of each source and how it worked for your paper. A couple of sentences for that annotation is plenty, okay? Uh, if you do more, that's fine, but I'm not asking for more than that, so please be aware of it. Uh, so, remember, too, that we are working on scholarly arguments. Um, so, this is not really a great essay to take on matters of faith or, um, you know, kind of... I guess, purely moral issues, you need to be able to do research and use that scholarly research to back your point. And I'm not doing this to poo-poo arguments. That's, that's not my, my goal here. I want you to be successful with this essay. Uh, so if I've suggested you take a different direction or uh, look at a particular piece of, uh, of, of the topic, I'm doing that to try to help you get on a good road. I have been teaching the research essay for a decade now, and I have seen what can give students problems and what can work really well, um, and I don't want you to get stuck. If you're feeling stuck, let me know. I'll also remind you that we do have Collaborate available uh, in Blackboard. If you want to meet with me and you need to do that online, let me know and we can set up an online meeting. You actually don't even have to have a webcam or microphone. You can even dial in uh, to the meeting if you want to. That's fine. We are. I'm, I'm always happy to talk with you on the phone or whatever, but Collaborate is really nice because we can look at each other, ask questions in real time. I can share my screen with you and we can look at your paper at the same time. There are a lot of uh, nice features of Collaborate, so feel free to use that. Um, so I think you guys have spring break coming up. How exciting. Um, while uh, I will be out for a couple days, I know some of you may work over the break on your assignments. I'm not telling you to do that, but I know some of you probably will. If you need help during the break, please feel free to email me. Um, I'm planning to be out of the office this coming Thursday and Friday and the following Monday, um, but once... Uh, April 3rd hits, everything is back to normal. So I hope you have a great weekend, and I look forward to getting your essays back to you.